And welcome to Lunchtime Politics on Channels Television. I'm Millicent Walker. On the news this hour, the Code of Conduct Tribunal adjourned sitting on the suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Anoge, pending determination of the CJN suit at the Court of Appeal. The Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, embarks on two-day nationwide boycott of court activities. And AKT State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal upholds the election of Governor Kaede Faimi as the duly elected governor of the state. Welcome everyone to Lunchtime Politics. We begin with a meeting of the National Judicial Council, NJC, expected to hold in the nation's capital today as part of the moves to resolve the legal log jam arising from the suspension of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onoge. It was gathered that neither the embattled Justice Onoge nor the acting CGN, Justice Ibrahim Mohammed, is expected to preside over the meeting. President Mohammed Dubari had on Friday suspended Justice Onoge as CGN on the strength of an order by the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The order also required the President to swear in the next most senior justice of the Supreme Court as the Chief Justice pending the determination of the suit against Justice Onoge. The suspended CJN is facing charges of false assets declaration at the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The suspension of Justice Onoge has triggered criticisms from various quarters, including the international community. They expressed reservations about the implication of the president's action, especially coming close to the general elections. In the meantime, the Code of Conduct Tribunal adjourned hearing on the trial of the suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria over alleged failure to declare some of his assets indefinitely. Now, the CCT chairman, uh, Justice Dan Ladi Uma, says the matter has been adjourned pending the ruling of the Court of Appeal on the application for stay of proceedings filed by Justice Onoge. When the proceedings resumed, two out of the three members of the tribunal were in attendance, Mr. Omar and Mrs. Julie Anabo, who ordered the suspension of Justice Onoge. Prior to the ruling, the CCT chairman tendered an apology for the delay over the sitting. Although he did not give reasons for the delay, sources within the CCT told Channels Television that the hearing was delayed because of the absence of the third member of the tribunal, Mr. Williams Adze. Now, the prosecutor, Mr. Lee Omar, was also absent at that sitting of the tribunal. A member of his team, Mr. Ibrahim, announced appearance uh, for prosecution, while Mr. Kanra Gabi announced his appearance for defense alongside 42 other lawyers. We were here last on the uh, 23rd of uh, January when the matter was adjourned to today for the preliminary objection that uh, we had filed on behalf of the CJN. Uh, on 24th January, we were before the Court of Appeal, and the Court of Appeal granted another stay in proceedings before this tribunal until the motion before the Court of Appeal is determined. So in obedience to that uh, order from the Court of Appeal, this tribunal has today adjourned all further proceedings in this matter pending the determination of the appeal. And that's why the matter here has been adjourned, sign a die. That is until further notice. The judiciary is going through very difficult times. Even the country itself is going through turbulent times. So we want to be very cautious. We want to be very careful. We are leaving no stone unturned. We are investigating what happened because we were all here on 23rd and we stayed till almost the end of the day. So we don't know how this happened, but uh, we are not going to comment on it now until we get all the facts.
Well, yesterday was quite a day of protest in the nation's capital, Abuja, as some lawyers and opposition party members called for the resignation of the Vice President, Professor Yumi Shibajo, and the Attorney General of the Federation, accusing them of being complicit in constitutional breach, even though they are lawyers. Well, they also want the Vice President and the Attorney General to face disciplinary action by the bar, while the acting CGN should be dismissed for presenting himself to be sworn in. These demands were contained in a petition submitted to the headquarters of the NBA in Abuja during the protest. Our correspondent Terry Kumi was there. It's a Monday morning, and these lawyers have taken up an unusual task, a protest in front of the NBA headquarters against the suspension of Justice Walter Onogen as Chief Justice of Nigeria. Among the crowd are women and youths. They say they are protesting in defense of the integrity of the judiciary, as written on their placards and banners. The co-convener, who is also the spokesperson of the Coalition of United Political Parties, reads some resolutions from a petition which they plan to submit to the leadership of the NBA. We resolve that the Nigerian Bar Association sitting over there should commence a total boycott of all courts in the land. Yes. That the Judicial Staff Union of Nigeria, which is meeting on Wednesday, and indeed all of us of democracy and constitutional governance, must shut down all the courts until these political barbarians are returned to their senses. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo and the Attorney General of the Federation are also accused of complicity. That the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, and the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo be called upon to resign for being complicit in the constitutional breach. Yes. Just as they are about submitting their petition to the NBA president, four trucks of counter protesters arrive. Displaying placards which show their support for President Buhari's decision to suspend the CJN, they confront the protesters while the police attempts to prevent an escalation. Terry Ikumi, Shadows Television News. In the meantime, the Nigerian Bar Association has directed its members to embark on a two-day nationwide boycott of all courts in the country as part of efforts to register its displeasure over the suspension of Justice Walter Onoge. Rising from an emergency National Executive Committee meeting of the association, the president, Mr. Paul Lusoro, says the two-day warning boycott of all courts in the country will take effect from today, the 29th day of January, to Wednesday, the 30th with the possibility of an extension. Mr. Osoro, who insists that the association will not watch the destruction of the independence of the judiciary by any arm of government, stressed the need for the rule of law to be maintained at all times. The final decision of the National Executive Committee, and which is relevant to that time frame that I've just spoken about, is that um, to show the, the displeasure of the body of lawyers in regard to what has happened so far. It has been decided by the NBA National Executive Committee that lawyers should go on two days boycott of courts nationwide. That um, from tomorrow, that is Tuesday, the 29th, of um, January 2019 and also Wednesday 30th of January 2019 <clears throat> all lawyers should stay away from court and this is to register uh, the discontent of the Nigerian Bar Association with the incidents that have happened and the fact that due process was not followed in, in regard to the matter of the Chief Justice of Nigeria.